Hey everybody, Bernie here. Uh, over a hole on a fresh permission. Uh, hasn't been a lot to see today uh, until I got into the backyard of this house and then it started turning into a nice relic hunt. I'm pulling uh, harmonica reeds, some other type of instrument reeds, um, toys, locks, keys, belt buckles, and uh, I only found one weedy so far, but I got nice shiny silver. Nineteen twenty-four, kind of worn. Wow, really worn. No mint mark, but hey, that's awesome. I'll take it. All right, we'll see what's next. All right, over another hole, and I got silver number two for the day. Still stuck in the in the plug there. Looks like a merc. Definitely a merc. I can get a date. Forty-three. Very nice. That was just a peeper. I'm gonna have to go very slow over this. I'm probably gonna come back over it and do it again another day. All right, let's see what's next. Got everything cleaned up and uh, laid out from Sunday's hunt. Uh, pretty nice relic hunt more than anything else. Uh, a lot of neat items found at this house. Uh, so let me show you what I got. First one, check out the dog. It's a lead dog. Really, really neat find. A um, little bit of silverware, big old butter knife, uh, silver plated spoon. WMA Rogers. Um, harmonica reed and then different kind of reed has a reed on this side and a reed on this side so it sounds like it make uh, noise with air going either way different um, found a nice jar in the ground it's ponds there was nothing in it it was actually still sealed. Uh, old lipstick tube. Nothing that I can see written on there. Uh, pretty nice Yale lock with the key still in it. Has a nice uh, design on there too. I come up with three belt buckles. And whatever these are, they're brass, they stand up, two of them match, and one is shorter. Um, I was thinking along the lines of maybe a candle holders of some kind, not sure. Um, oh, this is interesting. Uh, it was a compact. It was in one piece, but I broke it trying to open it. Uh, let me see if I can get some detail on here. See, there's a lady in a hat. And that reads Trésor on that side. And then the bottom, House of Trésor, Inc. Uh, Paris, New York. Uh, did a little research on that name, and this design of compact was late 1920s. Patent was filed in 1927. Uh, it's a triple compact. You open one side, you would have your blush or whatever here, and in this side you would have your uh, little little sponge or whatever it is. As you can actually see, the sponge is jammed in here what's left of it this was a 
polished piece of uh, metal instead of a mirror. And then on the underside as well, it's still full of powder, but you would have a big uh, rectangular sponge in there as well. But that's really, really neat. And it came in a few different colors. I have a uh, couple of ads from the late 1920s and 1930. Okay. Then I found a chicken. Uh, if you've seen any of my older videos, I actually found a horse that looks the same, and I figured out what these are. These are vintage animal cracker cutters. Okay, found what I thought was going to be a Zippo. But this one actually says, Precision Made by Park Industries. Murphy's. I'm trying to see, figure out what that says. Murphy's Bureau, Murphy's Bureau, Tennessee, USA. Uh, these were made in the 50s and 60s. This is the guts to one. That's all I found of it. A uh, couple pieces of lead. One round, one flat, and piece of bling that I found at a different house the other day. Uh, pretty much the only thing that I found there. So I figured I'd add it to this. Uh, got a let's see, the, the national key. Pretty nice shape. And. Uh, this looked to be a locket of some kind. It's in pieces here, but uh, probably because it was smashed. It looks like this piece here would clip in, like so. And then this piece here, she slides over the bottom half like that. And there was a hinge here. It looked like this would pull down, release the hinge, and open up. Uh, gold, gold colored. Looks like it's was probably plated with with something gold colored. Uh, let's see. Uh, another little piece of bling. Found. Looks like a shell with a stone in it. Come out decently shiny, but I don't think it's silver. And, oh, might as well show you the coins. I got two Canadians, two Zincs, five copper pennies, one nickel, and three dimes, two quarters. Two tokens. First token. This says TR11. Let me get that to focus. There it is. You can see there's a little dotted edge all the way around the outside. Really, really uh, bad shape. I, I dare not do any more to it. And also another token in pretty bad shape, but I like it. I didn't think anything of it at first. just thought it was a piece of junk, and then I found some lettering on it. Good for 10 cents on purchase price of Colgate Palmolive Shave Cream. And there's a disclaimer on the back. This says you would have today on any other coupon. Can't get it all written writ read there, but notice to druggist token redeemable for ten cents only. And Colgate Palm Olive Peak Company at the bottom. I actually found this token online. I got a nice picture of it.
40s and 50s. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, now, uh, small wheat harvest from this yard. First is in 1945. Next is in 1951. And then a 1956 D. And then uh, came away with two silvers, as you saw. We have the... 1924. There it is. She's a very, very worn. It's hardly a reeded edge left on there at all. Back is worn down really bad on the edges, but an awesome find nonetheless. And then. The 1943. That's a little worn, but that is gorgeous in its own right. Great day to get out and uh, dodge some raindrops. Uh, had a lot of fun there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll see what's next.